Hello my friends, uh, today we're going to go through my uh, workflow when uh, working with support in Elite Slicer uh, and we're going to go through with a couple of different ways to do things and use automatic tools and so on. Uh, first of all I usually start with uh, doing an uh, um, island uh, s s search and uh, find all parts where it, it really needs supports things that will be printed in mid-air and so on and that's uh, quite easy you go to the island detector accuracy normal works usually for me press search and you have all islands marked in red as you can see here and I like to cheat a little so I uh, use the automatic support add support to all islands usually fixes about 99% of the islands uh, there are some parts which you can't reach and you have to work manually with those but we just add support and as you see here it can find support for two islands uh, and we'll see how we can identify them and uh, manually add support to them uh, which means actually that you can press show and you need to have pretty good eyes but uh, as you can see here I found one of the islands it's kind of a little tiny tiny uh, dot uh, you probably won't notice if it was uh, unsupported after printing because I mean it's part of the uh, texture here uh, but you can fix that uh, with a mini support as you see here in the bottom of the screen uh, you have a little uh, sh uh, cheat, cheat uh, and you just press Control alt and you go to the little red dot as you see here it grows up a little pin here and it's fixed then you can move on to the next one and it's actually a little purple one I'm going to change uh, and we do the same thing here control alt you can support it from a hmm. I'm going to put a come on now well uh, it was not a So, control alt I pushed the wrong button here and no islands left to support but I don't like that support I mean this one will be removable and you can actually adjust it to be even more easily to access but this one is actually going to I'm going to uh, attach it let's put it there for the time being and this is kind of a little tricky uh, we'll just hide it up there and hopefully we can snip it off Now you have got all the islands, the most urgent parts that needs support, supported. Uh, the problem is that when you work with the supports in, uh, with a resin printer, you when you think you have enough supports, it's just halfway there usually. Uh, 
and I like to add for uh, long parts like this hand I like to add heavy supports because they are going to grow tall and uh, light and medium gets a little bit fragile uh, within those distances uh, I'm going to put a heavy support on this ear as well as well as on this other ear just to anchor them properly to the base plate uh, and it will also act as a, a stabilizer for when you go to medium supports uh, I know that these fingers I'm going to move over to medium supports right now I well the uh, last time I printed the uh, fir first time I printed uh, this uh, the ba poor baby Yoda lost this hand so I am actually going to add a medium support on these fingers just to sta stabilize them as well and then I'm going to add you see this white line where, where it gets thick uh, thicker or wider it's always good to add the support there uh, because then that's uh, a low hanging part so to say uh, if you take a look at this ear it has this as well add one there is two so um, you can only add supports to the yellow and orange checkered uh, areas because they are facing down to the build plate and let's see if we need uh, further medium supports here somewhere let's put one in Let's see what happens when we put one in the ear. I always try to look so they don't grow through the print object as well, because um, the, um, in previous versions that happened uh, quite easily when you were working with Lichi. And I would actually like to put one here in the tip of the ear on this, just to keep it steady. So you don't get any artifacts due to movement or such. Um, I don't think we need any heavy supports here. I'd like to put one in inside that hand as well. And yeah, we'll take care of that finger uh, shortly. Um, the good fun part here is that now you can uh, add uh, bracings to the supports uh, it's uh, kind of supports to the supports that runs between them I also want like to move out these plates here so uh, I don't get so much to cut off from the print later yes they help to stabilize bottom of the print but uh, this has such a large surface anyway so I don't think that is a problem uh, and I get nicer edges on this plate here or on the on the bottom of the where, where the poor creature stands Uh, that's a judgment call you have to do when uh, depending on uh, how large your print is and uh, as you see the surface parts here they they the, the supports adjusts nicely to 
when you move. around stuff like this. Actually like sometimes when they get a little uh, separated like this I like to put them together like this just to support the supports. And here we have a bunch more that needs to be moved out. This is, for me, it is uh, a purely aesthetical uh, maneuver uh, and because I'm quite lazy sometimes. Uh, so now we have fixed the... Uh, I can adjust that to a um, light as well. It was not the mini support. I, I changed the size of the support for the next one and that got adjusted as well. That wasn't the idea, but it's easily done with uh, uh, when you work in a support that you kind of adjust the previous support you worked with as well. Uh, now I think we're ready to create some bracings and uh, also here I like to use the shortcut you put uh, you hover your mouse uh, pointer over the button you get an idea what it does 219 bracings added and this actually helps a lot with stabilizing you get kind of a scaffolding instead of uh, long thin pins and you can actually do it manually as, as well when you feel that it needs some support so like you push down the alt button and you just draw them uh, between the parts you want to brace and I mean there is one that feels kind of lonely so you can actually extend and enforce the supports really well uh, you can add here, when I come to this part, when I add extra, I like to use the alt button. You can uh, build three supports like this. And then I use usually use the light supports. And now we should, must not forget this finger here. Let's do that the medium one. And then we can add uh, yet one more here. And let's do that as medium one as well. And it's suddenly a very stable support uh, setting. I do not think that you need any supports here. Uh, if you uh, had used auto supports, you would have, uh, have had the supports everywhere. Uh, and as I said uh, previously, uh, when you think you are done with your supports, uh, you should add at least, if not double it, but put on at least a third more. Uh, but when you have got this basic uh, heavy support and medium support set up, I mean, in this area it's quite difficult to use heavy support because the uh, contact surfaces are so small. But instead you have got a lot of, many supports instead. Uh, but uh, I got the most important uh, parts where uh, uh, heavy supports, in my opinion, are required uh, supported. And now you can uh, fool around with uh, medium and light ones like we could put one up his nose here uh. let's do a nah let's forget that that's not going to be good but you you see the idea i'm aiming at here right now uh. These ears are going to be, f I have printed this model before, 
uh, and uh, it worked out really well for me so uh, you have at least gotten an, an idea of how to work with support now I hope uh, uh, and I usually work with this model it's a quite large one I use it uh, to do it hollow and uh, when you do the 3D hollow that I showed in a previous video it's actually quite easy to support on the inside uh, here uh, you have the clipping slider and you can choose which side of the model you want to work with and here is that I actually put up a uh, support already. no I experimented with that previously so this has not been done uh, oh yes it has actually it has supported the islands yes it was the islands uh, uh, that uh, it fixed I, w I played around here before and uh, but uh, actually it's quite easy to put on internal support when you use this tool you can put on heavy support or everything you see uh, when you think it needs extra supporting uh, usually not required with this model uh, besides the islands done uh, uh, and actually if you like to print this uh, with a transparent resin you probably don't want the support on the inside uh, so you can actually clean up uh, in this model uh, the tiny islands that are on the inside are not going to be seen so uh, but you can do it like this anyway uh, you have kind of difficulty to do it from the above so you need to go to the bottom up instead and uh, if you go to the preview you can actually run it in the simulator and that th this is actually a fascinating part of uh, Litchi Slicer you can see how it builds up your print and how it's growing within the vat and this is actually also a good part to use because then you can see if you have missed something if there is something obvious that you should have supported but forgot or something And you're ready. 11 hours and 5 minutes printing time. And uh, this is <laughs> kind of cool to see how large will it be in scale. You can slice and dice and uh, fool around with it. But okay, this is how I used to work with the supports. So. Uh, I hope you have had some use of this video. Uh, don't hesitate to give me comments and uh, I'll see I'll try to answer them and uh, you can also uh, send me some suggestions on what you want to see. Uh, thank you for this time and uh, have a good day.